If you were recording multi-track with, for instance, the Rodecaster, you can drag the recorded files onto your timeline in Audition like this. And if you then zoom in, you'll see that Audition places all the recorded microphones and Bluetooth and stuff on just one track. It's great for quick editing, but it's a no-go uh, if you want to send it to post-production. So what you want to do is drag it in and then click the Alt button. Audition places all the recorded microphones and stuff onto its own lane. And this is far more convenient, but you'll see it, it, it also gives you a lot of lanes you don't actually need. Because in this case, I only recorded four microphones. Usually, the top two are like the mix that uh, the Roadcaster makes itself. We, you can delete it because we're gonna make the mix ourselves in post-production. The next four are the microphones. In this case, I recorded four. Then there's the USB, there's the, the, the Bluetooth, the jingles, and if you didn't use them like I did, and there's no audio in them, and you can just throw them away. We're left with four microphones now that we recorded. Yippee! Then we can go and start editing. Um, just select stuff like you would always do, and then move stuff around. Around. Until you're happy with the end product, you can send maybe your whole project or uh, make an OMF file and send it to your uh, audio pro production guy or girl. He or she will then delete all the rubbish that's in the microphones that weren't used at the moment because people weren't talking in them. And we can also give every microphone its own sound, so that's actually pretty cool. Well, thanks for watching. To my opinion, this is the best way to import a multi-track file into Audition, especially if you want to send it to audio post-production. Thanks.